All right, matrices test bay. Um, always remember matrices that you do have a calculator and uh, you should have a nice calculator like this. And these can do matrices if you ever need to multiply them. I'll quickly show you this one here. Um, if you press exit to get all the way back out here, you can go to maths, matrices, choose your size, and then just uh, type in whatever questions you decide. Right, let's do the actual question. Right, B minus A. Uh, it's quite nice. So it's just my value of B minus my value of A. So 3 minus minus 1, which is 4. Minus 1 minus 2, minus 3. 0 minus minus 2, which is 2. Minus 4 minus 5, which is minus 9. Okay, B minus A. Good. Right, B. 2A minus 3B. So I'm actually going to multiply them first. So I'm going to times A by 2 to make it 2A. To make it minus 2, 4, minus 4, and 10. That's 2A. And I'm minusing 3B. Uh, this B, so this times it by 3. Uh, 3 times 3 is 9. Minus 1 times 3 is minus 3. 0 times 3 is 0. Minus 4 times 3 is minus 12. And now we just subtract them. So minus 2 minus minus 9 is negative 11. 4 minus minus 3 is uh, 74 plus 3, which is 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, minus 4 minus 0, just leaves it as minus 4. 10 minus minus 12, which is 22. Okay, good. <sighs> okay, let's focus on the uh, blue part first. So it's going to be minus 1 times minus 1. And it's going to be plus 2 times minus 2. And then for the bottom bit, I'm going to have to do minus 2 times minus 1. And then, uh, min and then normal 5 times minus 2. Uh, now if I look at these, my green bits, I know it's, no, I know it's minus 1 times 2. And then 2 times 5. And then uh, we have to get the second part, which is minus 2 times 2. And then uh, plus 5 times 5. Okay, and I've just got to sort all these bits out. I'm just going to trust my calculator to do this. So here I've got minus 1 times, put this out, minus 1 times minus 1, uh, plus 2 times minus 2. I'll type it in properly. That's better, which is minus 3. That will now I'll do minus 2 times minus 1 plus 5 times minus 2, which is minus 8. Yeah, I'll do minus 1 times 2 plus 2 times 5, which is normal weight. Minus 2 times 2 plus 5 times 5, which is 21. Right, let's make it look like an actual matrix. Okay. Uh, next one is b to the power of minus 1. So it's 3, three minus 1, uh, 0, minus 4. Okay, uh, minus 1. So if I'm doing anything to the power of minus 1, what that actually means is, I need to use the formula, which is n to the power of minus 1 equals 1 over the uh, determinant of m. And I need to change this as d, uh, a, minus b, minus c. Okay, I'm assuming this is in the form A, B, C, D. So let's do the last bit first. Uh, A is 3. Uh, C is 0, so it's still minus 0. Uh, B turns into a positive 1. And uh, D is now minus 4. 1 over. Now I just got to work out my determinant for this matrix. Uh, and my determinant is A, D minus B, C. Which is 3 times minus 4. A minus minus one times zero. Uh, all this makes zero, so three times minus four is minus twelve. And last one, b to the power t, which actually b transposed. Um, I'm going to try this one. Which is three minus one zero four. Uh, the easiest way that I try to remember it is that it's sort of like in a reflection of these ones. So my 3 and my 4 stay the same, and my minus 1 and my 0 swap. 